Hello, TikTok users. In this video, you'll learn about some tips and use cases for TikTok that you may not have known about just yet, so you can take your TikTok game to the next level. Leave a like if you learn at least one new thing from this video, and leave a comment if you have any additional suggestions. The first tip is about keyboard shortcuts. They are awesome. They help you save time, they create a fluid experience, and it makes you feel like you're hacking the matrix. Now, most to-do apps already have keyboard shortcuts. That's not what's special here. What's special is that TickTick allows you to configure your own custom keyboard shortcuts. This is cool because it allows you to map key combinations of your choice to commands of your choice, meaning that you can create easy to type shortcuts for commands you use often. Additionally, if you're moving over to TickTick from another app with keyboard shortcuts you've memorized, you can just copy those over too, so you retain your muscle memory. TickTick's calendar view is cool because it shows time-bound tasks on there automatically based on the time you've set for them on the task configuration level. What's even cooler though is that you can filter what shows up on the calendar. First of all, you can filter by lists, and this is useful if you want to view progress on a specific project by filtering only for that list or by filtering out certain lists that are non-actionable like your long-term goals. In my opinion, TickTick has the best calendar view of all. And that's saying something because I've reviewed dozens and dozens of productivity apps already, which you can check out on my channel if you don't believe me. It's comprehensive enough to give you a rich feature set that you would really use but it's not too complicated. And in addition, it integrates so well with TickTick's other views. I love widgets, which is why I use them on my phone with Todoist, my current daily driver as of recording this video. Now, TickTick also has those, but they take it even one step further by enabling desktop widgets. Whether you want to quickly drop something into your inbox or have an advanced filter like laptop-only tasks, it's all possible with these widgets. And TickTick is, I believe, one of the only, if not the only to-do apps that supports this. It's amazing to have because it enriches your desktop into something useful, especially for dropping something into the inbox, which is what I always recommend also my clients to do for capturing new input easily. Have it available to you where you are the most. If you're on your laptop all day working, then having a quick and easy to access inbox widget, for example, is an amazing way to regularly empty your head so you can continue focusing on what you were doing. The Pomodoro method, a powerful technique for staying focused. And I have a whole video on that, which you can check out somewhere here. It is a method that pushes you to work in short sprints, alternated by short breaks. So check out my video if you wanna learn more about it. Now you don't really need more than a timer for this. However, TickTick actually has a built-in Pomodoro timer that integrates seamlessly with all the other features. So you can activate it on specific tasks, for example. It will pop out and you can even zoom in on it so it has an in-your-face view telling you, hey, you've got this much time left in your current sprint. To activate it, select a task, then click on the menu and select Start focus, start POMO. It'll prompt a possible pop-up. You can even have it play sounds for you, though they don't come close to the science-backed playlist that Brain FM offers, I must say. The ability to set up advanced custom filters is one of my top favorites for any to-do app, and Todoist and TickTick are the best at this, in my opinion. But with Todoist, while the functionality is there, the setup is still a bit complicated. You have to type in advanced syntax to make it work, which can be a bit confusing. With TickTick, on the other hand, you have access to an easy to use wizard that enables you to combine for list membership, tags, priority, time, and many others. What I like most about this is the ability to pin a filter to the top, allowing you to quickly navigate to a custom list. Advanced conditional logic is something every power user needs at some point, so I'm happy TickTick has it and keeps it accessible with its easy wizard. Being able to look back on what you've done is so important, whether it's just remembering, reflecting, 
or doing a Pareto exercise where you try to figure out what was the most impactful thing that I did this week or this month. Being able to look back is essential. Tick Tick strikes the sweet spot here, in my opinion, because it is not too fancy and gimmicky with advanced graphs that you never really use, but it's also not too simplistic. Instead, it's a straightforward view of completed tasks that you can filter through. And you have three options here. The first is time, which is great for doing a weekly review, for example. The second is list membership, which is useful for evaluating work done on a specific project. And the third is tag, which is super interesting if you use tags for context, as it allows you to see which of them are currently most prevalent in your life. And of course, all these three filters can be combined as well. Like most to-do apps, TickTick enables you to associate a time with a task, which is commonly interpreted as the due time or the deadline. Unlike many apps though, TickTick also enables you to enter start times for a task. If you go to a task and press date and reminder, you can then navigate to duration to find that TickTick also supports setting up a start date. This is great if you wanna preload tasks into your system, especially if you combine it with the aforementioned calendar view. It's a powerful way to see what's coming and prioritize accordingly. Many people forget that TickTick is not just a to-do list, but also a powerful note taker. In fact, it has a focused writing mode that enables you to remove any distractions. It supports full markup, includes attachments, checkboxes, and links. And to activate it, just create a note first. Then press the underlined A and select the zoom icon. Alternatively, you can activate immersive writing with the keyboard shortcut Control plus Alt plus Zero. If you ever use a computer in a public space, it's always a good idea to lock it if you step out for a moment. Especially if you have apps on there like TickTick, which probably holds a lot of sensitive information. TickTick allows you to take this security one step further by introducing App Lock a feature that allows you to set a password that is required to be typed in for opening the app and accessing information inside of it, even if you're already logged into TickTick. And I like this as it means forgetting to lock your computer or even having it stolen doesn't mean your TickTick account is at risk to be seen by anyone. Small touches like this show me that TickTick understands their users and has their best interests in mind. I hope this list was helpful. I hope you discovered at least one new trick or if you haven't used TickTick before that you're now excited to try it. If you want more productivity tips like this, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to my newsletter. Links to all of them are in the description as is a link to try out TickTick. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.